Okay, hi grade threes to sixes. This art task is for those of you that have finished the uh, colour wheel tree task that we did last time and are looking for an extension class. So there's no um, task sheet, just a video. So you'll see on New Educate Us that I've just written follow along with the YouTube video um, on how to do feathers. So as you know, I've got this feather background that I did so that you guys can identify me. So when you're looking for me on YouTube, you can go, ah, that's Miss Amenta. There's the feathers. So that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to hold up here. Um, how do we get those feathers? Okay. What I want you to notice is that those feathers are all pretty much made up of colours and are loguous with each other on the colour wheel. That means colours that are next to each other on the colour wheel. And this is what we call a warm palette. So all these colours here I've, I've used, they're all warm, which means they have yellow in them. Yellow or red makes a colour warm, which means it comes forward. Anything with blue in it will recede. So you've got a purpley blue and that will be a cool colour so that will go off into the background but you can have a really really good sorry greeny blue that'll go off into the background but if you've got a blue that's got a little bit of red in it like a purpley blue it is actually a warm warm purpley blue okay so warm and cool colours can get a little tricky I guess the easiest way to say um, to talk about them is to say that Anything with yellow or red in it is a warm colour. Anything with a blue or a green in it is going to be a cool colour. Okay, so it's your choice what kind of colours that you use today. I'm going to use these ones. I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically you'll need a white piece of paper and you'll need to think about where you're going to put these feathers so that you're doing a design. But you can do a little practice run first, that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to tilt the screen like this so that you can see how we are going to be doing it. It's easier for you to understand. Okay, so yeah, that was good that way, wasn't it? Hey, so what we're going to do is we are going to use brushes that help us. So the brushes that I'm going to use today are some round head brushes. And they're good that when you hold them up really high like that. See how I always lean my wrist? Leaning your wrist gives you lots of control um, over your brush. So we hold them up. Okay, those of you who paint nails, we hold the brush up. We don't flatten the brush like that. Okay, we're holding them up and they make some nice little points. Um, and nice long lines. And also I'm going to be using a flat head brush there. Flathead brushes are pretty cool. Flathead brushes can make, and I'll do it on a separate piece of paper here, so I'm not wasting paper. I'm wasting. Here we go. So basically, you have a look at a flathead brush. Flathead brushes can make really nice, clean lines, like so. And also, not only that, we pull them along, but if we hold them upright and we run them along that way, Okay, so they're great for great for larger areas and larger um, cleaner lines. Okay, whereas when you use a round head brush, round head brushes held upright, beautiful. Okay. And also they make lovely clean lines too, but you can also lay them flat. Okay. Round head brushes are beautiful for little bits of detail and adding little dots and things to your artwork too. Okay, so let's do Let's do our leaf design like so. OK, 
Okay, so on your piece of paper there, you're going to choose your colours. And I'm going to start with a pink. So with my flat head brush, little flat head brush, I'm going to get some pink paint, quite watery. And I'm going to paint two little lines, two little shapes like so from the inside out. And what that'll do is that'll set up the spine of the feather. Next, I'm going to use some peachy pink. Really like this peachy pink color. Now I'm going to come up. I'm going to hold my brush up a little more. And I'm going to do strokes like so. Adding a few dots there. And then coming up. Alright, once you've done that bit, you're going to get your lovely little round head brush. You're going to start adding some detail to it. So to add detail to that, I'm going to look at using red. Red is not my favourite colour, but it can look good when you want to highlight. So along where the spine is, I'm going to do a little, a few little dark dots. I'm also going to come up all right so that's one of my first ones there so this really will need you to have a little bit of a play around See how you go. I'll do one more for you. So we're using a flat head brush, but you can use a round head brush the whole time if you want. And I'm going to start with yellow. So again, we're going to start with planting the base of the feather on either side imagining because often the spines of feathers are white so that's why i've got that white sort of line and i'm working either side all the time one side then the other now i'm going to come up with a little bit of orange And stroking it it makes a point there blending it a little bit along like so now what I would like to do is I'm going to add some pink that so I'm gonna get my thin brush really thick paint so not too watery and just with that tip just with it not gonna to add too much pink my two feathers and of course you can have a little bit of fun with it too play with the brush play with a drier brush see what happens when you get to the top like that and it's dry 
and get the fluffier bits on the bottom there. It's just using pink. Now I can add to that if I want. Hmm. I'm going to add purple to this one. So thicker. I'm going to add just some purple to it. Have a play. Making that grow a little bit more now. Other colour that might be really, really good in that is yellow. Just a little bit of yellow in there just to make it a little bit crazier more interesting warmer okay so that's how we do it peoples just the gentlest of touch on your page coming up dab 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 stroke 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 coming up into a point like so then filling in along with analogous colours as we go along, okay? So I hope you don't find that um, too much of a challenge and that you really give it a good go. It does take a while to get that brush stroke right, so don't give up on me, all right? Give it a red-hot go, okay? And I'd love to see those, those feathers if you like. Okay, you can post them as well. Just remember that you need to post your name and your grade as well, okay, when you're posting your artwork. All right, take care. See you next week. Bye.